Hey there, it is Rachel, and in this week's podcast episode, I talked about how to find the time for one-on-one time with your kids. I know that right now we're all just trying to get through the day and a lot of us are very tired. So you may wonder how you're going to find that time. And in the podcast episode, I do talk about that. I give you some hacks for how to find that time. Because in reality, when your kids aren't getting that one-on-one time, you're going to see more negative behavior and more negative moods. But when you do spend more individualized time, they're actually more likely to listen to you. They're less likely to fight with their siblings. So one-on-one time matters. But you may have a child who resists one-on-one time with you. And I want to talk about that in this video. So very likely, if you have a child who's resisting, they're probably a little bit older, an adolescent, a teenager. And there are, you know, you ask them to spend time with you and they say that they don't want to. So what do you do about that? You can consider that maybe they don't need that one-on-one time, but I will tell you that it's such a small percentage of adolescents and teenagers that do not need that one-on-one time that I wouldn't just give up because they are resistant. What I would do is actually tell them you're having that time anyway. And I'm gonna tell you what to do to make it work a little bit better. But I wanna emphasize, even if they are resistant, I would schedule one-on-one time with them anyway. Because here's what I know, being a former therapist, teenagers would tell me all the time that they didn't wanna spend time with their parents. And they'd also say they noticed when their parents stopped trying. And that really hurt their feelings. So I don't want you to stop trying. It's a hard place to be in because you do get that response, but it's sort of up to us as parents to say, I'm not gonna let that resistance determine what I think is best for my child or for my teenager. So I would still try and still tell them that this is what's gonna happen. It's a family value of yours that you spend some one-on-one time together. So why are they so resistant? How can we make this time a little bit easier? The first thing to think about is when are you trying to have this time? Truth is, if they have another option for something more fun during that time, yeah, they're gonna prefer to do that. They're gonna prefer to play video games. They're gonna prefer to be with their friends if possible. So you wanna think about what time works for them. And you can actually ask them. You can say, hey, we're gonna have this time, but I wanna hear what time works best for you. Let them give you a few times and then pick the one that works for you as well, but give them some control over when it happens. Now, the second issue you might be facing is what you are doing during that time. Very often I talk to parents of adolescents and teenagers and they're saying, well, during that time I try to watch movies or I try to play games and they don't want to do that. And the truth is they probably don't want to do that. So you want to find what works better. Now you can ask your teenager what works better for them. Chances are what they're going to say is, I don't know, or they're just going to shrug or give you a grunt, which many of them do. What I suggest you do if they're not telling you what they want to do is focus on things that they are good at. They might not want to talk to you about things they're interested in, because that's what I would say to parents of younger children. They might not want to tell you about their friends or what's going on, but what they often want to talk about is what they're good at. So if they're good at even video games or they have a hobby or a skill and you ask them to teach you, they're much more likely to want to do that. So if you have no idea where to start with your time together, I would start with asking them to talk about the things that they are good at. So again, you're being really respectful to them about when you're doing this, about what you're doing, and, but you are ultimately letting them know that this is something that is really important to you as a family and you're gonna continue trying because just trying is gonna show them that they matter and that's almost as important as the one-on-one time that you do end up spending with them. Now, if you have a younger child who wants to be with you all the time and melts down if your time with them ends, I'm actually gonna be doing a video on that in my Facebook group. You can join that on Facebook, it's called your Parenting Long Game Podcast Community. And if you do want more tips on how to find the time for this one-on-one time with your kids or your teens, feel free to check out the latest episode. You can find your Parenting Long Game Podcast on any podcast app, or you can check out my website for this week's episode. That's at rachel-bailey.com forward slash 45. I look forward to seeing you again soon.